Pikeville Fire and Police are currently planning a follow-up to last year's Cuffs and Hoses block party and 5K 10K race. The event will feature street vendors, food trucks, and live music centered in downtown Pikeville. All funds raised from the event will go towards the Christmas with the First Responder program in December. So we're excited to announce that we are having the um, Cuffs and Hoses um, block party again this year along with the 5K and 10K. So we're trying to get everyone excited and build interest in this event. It's going to be coming up August 19th. And of course the block party will be ongoing uh, throughout the day. You're welcome to come by, see vendors, and uh, just spend time with us there at the block parties for a great cause. And as well as participate in the 5K, 10K that later that evening. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. Last year's block party resulted in a large turnout from the community. Those who are interested in participating in the races or becoming a sponsor can contact either Pikeville Fire or Police for more information. Last year was a big hit and I think uh, not only did we get a good turnout, but I noticed a lot of children really enjoyed the event as well. And we always try to make a big show for them to come out and have a good time. Um, so I expect maybe a bigger crowd this year and for more people to hear about it and hopefully more people participate. But again, you know, we're ready for as many people as we can get. Uh, it's a great cause. It goes for our um, outreach program for um, to buy Christmas gifts for the um, underprivileged children in the December. Anybody that's interested in the event is welcome to uh, contact us here at the, at the fire department or the police department for more information. So there's also um, a post on the social media pages, both with the police and the fire side, if you want more information there as well. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.